to astrofox your favorite youtube channel so today i am putting the third video in this series before the actual uh, matchmaking class starts okay once uh, matchmaking class starts uh, it will be like uh, minimum one and a half to two hours videos so here in this video what we will uh, discuss is something called as destiny matchmaking what is this destiny matchmaking uh, destiny matchmaking means uh, it is not unusual for uh, parents to ask us after marrying this girl will my boy's future be good will they progress will they be happy together understand like that they will ask though this is not as easy as the question understand various factors we need to check but one simple snapshot technique i am going to teach here okay detailed things we are going to discuss in the upcoming videos okay there is no doubt about that but here uh, when they ask will there be a progress or not progress this not only for husband and wife you can check the this technique even for a partnership even if you want to do a partnership also how that partnership association will turn out to be whether they will be profitable for you whether that association will bring a financial upliftment whether mentally you will be happier in that partnership that also we can check but here we are seeing more relevant to the concept that is matrimonial compatibility okay so regarding the course all those details it is there in the description i have given you the link where you can find the details about the entire course so if you are willing you can uh, uh, whatsapp me after going through the syllabus thoroughly and if you think yes this course will be useful for you i am more than pleased to teach you the entire 10 days okay so we will okay this chart we have already discussed okay in the second video i discuss this chart uh, if this chart has come for match making what we are supposed to say and uh, what are the conditions in this chart all those things i have already said right now uh, let us go to this destiny matchmaking why i kept this name is you'll generally ask how the life will be of my daughter after marrying this person how the life of my son will be after marrying this girl this is quite natural question if just to tie one mangal sutra or tali was the marriage then these things will not come they will say marriage is like a thousand years uh, harvest or something they will say like that right that means they wants to because after your marriage one generation after generation is going to continue right so very carefully we have to choose this institution of marriage okay in nadi you all will be knowing so over as this idea of nadi astrology there we are giving two planets very much importance one is saturn and another one is jupiter saturn is called as karma karaka whereas jupiter is called as jiva karaka that means uh, it is usually said in nadi saturn rather jupiter tries saturn fulfills means things which are connected to saturn naturally you will get it you will get it delayed but naturally you will get it because that is promised by destiny and uh, things that are promised by jupiter that you have to put effort once you put that relevant effort you will get it if it is not connected to both you will never get it that is the base concept of nadi now here we all know saturn is the karma karaka that is the udyoga purusha lakshanam and uh, today yes irrespective of the gender bias both are working that's a good sign all right and those days they said that word. okay okay and uh, ayush karaka is also saturn and jupiter is the jiva karaka common to both male and female and dhana karaka that is the karaka for finances so this saturn in husband and wife chart should be good because it is the vidhi it is the destiny if it is spoiled in husband chart at least it should be in a good manner in a wife chart or if it is spoiled in the wife chart it should be good in the husband chart so this may not be easy to grasp for all of us so let us take some charts with the help of the charts i'll try to explain this now um let me take one chart let us think this is husband and let us name this as wife 
let's put the Saturn here in this chart so alternately in the wave chart now this is karma now the dharma karaka the Jupiter if this Jupiter is here or this Jupiter is here or if this Jupiter is here or if this Jupiter is here then after the marriage of this couples the husband's Udyogam or work or business will prosper that means by combining with this lady he is activating Dharma Karma Adhipati Yogam understand they will say right after marrying that lady his business started to expand like anything ok he was doing in one city now he is doing the business in multiple countries and all they will say understand because this lady has activated the Dharma Karma Adhipati Yogam of this husband's destiny by having a favorable Jupiter placement of course this Jupiter may not be a good placement understand this Jupiter is not a good placement because here it is Nicha ok this is an exception this is an exception apart from this these three positions are uh, good uh, ideally what I wanted to teach you here is from Saturn if Jupiter is in 1597 it is good position but it is our basic common sense in astrology the planet's condition is also needs to be assessed ok this is the first point and uh, let us see uh, some other things ok what are the other good things we can see in a chart ok next if the person now let me remove the Jupiter now let us see something about finance now initially what we saw is Vidhi Portham that is Vidhi means destiny in destiny two planets are involved one is Saturn another one is Jupiter now let us keep the Saturn's position there only now wife is having what kind of combinations will give a severe profit that means they will say right his wife brought him so many of uh, what is that uh, Lakshmi with him means uh, not money means uh, the moment she came that uh, Lakshmi itself came the moment she came money tripled like anything ok or they will say uh, progress of the native after the marriage all those things ok now for example this uh, let me keep this uh, Saturn here ok in the same place ok exactly here the wave chart I am placing Venus now you see the Karma Karaka is having exalted Venus aspecting the seventh place to the Saturn that means after the arrival of wife not wife has come directly the Mahalakshmi itself has come for this person you can check the real time charts only thing is this Venus should not be affiliated like having a near Ketu connection understand like that hmm? so if that is there then definitely now if this is having a moon then this is money and moon is expenditure so those things under we should take it ok when I am saying unafflicted Venus this unafflicted Venus will bring a lot of money for this person ok and uh, another also we can put now for example what is that we can put uh, Saturn here ok another example just to show you all and uh, I can put the same Venus here this will be even more better understand same sign uh, uh, same sign and here Venus is in Onos ok when I taught you all Bhava class I taught you Onos planets are more powerful than exaltation it may look something absurd but in reality that is the truth there are literatures backing with our own experience also for that statement ok fine now what are the other planets which will do good now for example this Saturn is here ok now let us make this Saturn again exalted let us put this Saturn here ok or let us make it as a one of Saturn and here we are putting Mercury this is also an excellent placement Mercury is exalted Saturn is good so he will do well in business or relevant field or wife will be supportive to him understand so all those things we can say with this kind of uh, combinations 
now there are certain negative combinations also what are those negative combinations now for example let us assume this person is having saturn here okay the husband is having saturn here they will say this guy was doing very well business before marriage and all but after marriage within 2 years and all he lost marriage means this is not the mistake of the lady understand she had to be placed with a proper person understand he had to be placed with a proper person now here if there is a ketu gone understand here there is ragu it is it is not completely gone like ketu but life will be full of struggles and survival of the fittest they say right it will be like that understand so that will be there then the year this is one of the worst combination saturn moon i'll i'll come and tell okay why it is a worst combination we'll discuss we'll discuss this whenever we are doing the uh, mind match making or here also we can say now for example i'll say uh, let us me put uh, moon here and saturn here after marriage this person will have only bitterness in his life because of his wife understand there will be no positive it will be like visha poison now let us put saturn here and moon here okay then we can say the same here means after marriage this lady will have only bitterness in life because of this person understand so this is a very very horrible placement this will come in two ways one year or in the seventh house uh, you need not worry about all these uh, placements everything okay all this i have tabulated okay everything i have tabulated i have given in the next slide that you call can take in screenshot hmm? so this hardly it will take how much time for me to teach i think it has taken some uh, 10 minutes and for you all to check it may take less than 2 minutes not even 2 minutes but you have to check properly it may take 1 to 2 minutes that's all so in a initial glance only you can say whether two charts are conducive to each other or not okay now that is what i put let me turn on the slide show from the current slide okay and yeah so this is husband and wife I put. you can take like husband or wife wife or husband like that we can take means comparing one person chart with another person chart so saturn to saturn the connection also matters okay 1579 may not give same results that of 6 bar 8 or it may not may give the same result of that for 11 bar 3 so if saturn and saturn are in uh, trines or in uh, sama saptama then it's 100% good means uh, husband saturn and wife saturn okay and husband saturn wife saturn 11 bar 3 that is also good okay they are in improving houses and labasthana saturn and saturn in 10 4 2 12 this is good also bad also okay 6 bar 8 this is worst understand uh, saturn and saturn and all okay but there are some other planets like jupiter and sun they and all should be very carefully analyzed why jupiter and sun should be carefully analyzed because they both are the karakas of progeny right one is the naturally the fifth house another one is naturally fifth to fifth house ninth house if this both are spoiled heavily in the both the chart then definitely they may find very very difficult to get a child even to iuf also not possible even iuf will failure because both the karakas are spoiled now saturn instead of putting jupiter again venus one more table one more mercury right we are not writing a book here to fill the pages anything we are giving we should give in apt and easier way so if it is saturn jupiter venus are in one connection it's a excellent connection one of them is going to give you dharma karma dipati yoga another one is going to give you a, a kind of lakshmi yoga all those things are there and second uh, 579 is also good because trikona and sama saptama is there and 3 bar 11 is also improving that is also good 4 bar 10 it has its own positives and own negatives okay so we will discuss that in a separate video and 6 bar 8 never ever we should do that then lifelong they have to struggle for finance family fighting so misunderstanding so why feel get some kind of ill health all those things will happen and next saturn bar mars mangala karaka you can exchange the positions also okay it should never be in 1 10 or 7 okay these things should be avoided some blood related problems or sometimes even uh, longevity issues all those things will come this is actually kujadosh not the one 
टू दैट इज ऑल्सो क्वेश्चन सो टू फॉर सेवन एट मोर दैन द दिस इज रिलेवेंट ओके फाइन नेक्स्ट सैटर्न बार मून आई आलरे टोल्ड यू इट गिवस वेरी मच बिटरनेस इन मैरिटल लाइफ इट्स अ कैंड ऑफ विषय योग ओके एंड सैटर्न बार राव के तो सैटर्न बार राव के तो ऑल्सो बैड बिकॉज लाइफ डजेंट गो फारवर्ड बट देर इज ऑल्सो एन एक्सलेंट पोजिशन फॉर दैम वॉट इज दट इफ देर इन सिक्स बार इफ देर नेवर गेट कनेक्टेड Rahu also will never get connected. Ketu also will never get connected. In that way, it's excellent for that uh, matchmaking. So very simple. Okay, even if you take a screenshot of this, is also sufficient. So okay, yeah. So the next video, I will try to come up with some other new concept. Okay, and uh, thanks for your time. If you like the course, you can enroll for the course. It starts on September nine. So try to enroll early so I can give you the links and uh, all those things. and if you like the video please like the video share the video and subscribe to the channel thanks for your support thank you have a great day